What's up, trendsetter gang? We're about to do another video um, makeup tutorial. And if you want to learn how to fake a dewy, moisturized face, okay? Because you know. Let me just say, this look can make you look good without um, spending a whole lot of time doing makeup in, in the mirror. It can make you look like a million bucks, but just on a dime. And these techniques are um, what, you know, most women, when they're going out, they want, if you want to have that look, that rich look, that million dollar look, Sometimes you don't even have to put on a lot of makeup. If you do the tricks that I show you today, these will either amp up your makeup, um, your makeup, um, or it will, um, or you can just wear it, you know, in substitute of having the full glam. Some of you guys like to be really natural. And if you want to be really natural and still look sexy, this is the way to do it. So I've already put on my foundation. And y'all probably can't see it, but I um I put a little concealer on. I might just put some high, a little bit of highlighter at the top just so you can see how it defines my eyebrows. And then you can see from there how I make the looks the way I make. Now this is me. I put a little water on my brush to give it. This is part of the dewy look. I put a little, I wet my brush just a little bit. I tapped it um, with, you know, with my wet fingers. I didn't want it to get submerged in water to give your foundation that dewy look. Now, keep in mind, this is a matte foundation. It is um, Pro Matte Infallible. Um, it is a uh, 24 hour. This is a, um, what is the color on here? It's called Creme, Creme Cafe. Cafe Mocha Chocolata, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm going to show you how I amp up my eyebrows, okay? So, I'm going to, um, I put a little concealer on it, but I was running short on concealer. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of a white highlighter on top just to show you. Or maybe I can do a bronze, actually. No, because I'm doing that on the cheeks. Let me do a little, I'm going to do a bright like a peachy this is a shade i'm gonna use just to show you what it does to amp up the eyebrows so you're gonna take a makeup applicator see and i'm just gonna put it in here in, in the in the um the eyeshadow and i'm gonna make my own um my own highlighter what did I do with that? Oh, give me one second, y'all. Just one second. Okay, I'm back. Here is the um, I'm gonna use the mirror in here so y'all can so I can be facing y'all. So I'm gonna take the makeup applicator that I dipped in the highlighter and just go just line down my eyes, just line down here. I'm going to do the same here. Don't worry that some get in the eyebrows. It's okay. I'm going to fix that too. I'm going to fix it. What I 
Okay, now I'm going to brush it out just to show you what, how it looks when you have concealer on. Um, you just dab it. This is how it's going to look when you add the concealer. Okay, it's going to give it that definition. Have you seen a girl put conceal on the top and it's kind of highlighted there well i'm improvising today because i don't have any um I'm, i ran short on my conceal i hardly ever use it so i use it at different times y'all have to know makeup makeup people that do makeup or makeup artists they wear different things at different times because okay anyway i don't need to get into that but yeah it's Sometimes I'll do it and sometimes I don't. It's one of them sometimes you do, sometimes you don't situations. Okay, so I'm just going to blend it where you can still see it, but it's going to be blended. Now, I wouldn't... Mm -mm, I, don't, I don't think I would do this in real life. Maybe I would. Yeah, I would. I'm doing it now, but I'm just saying like with my own makeup, but... Concealer gives it that look, if you can see. And give me one second, because I forgot the highlights. I'm talking about the light for the video. Okay. Excuse me, y'all. I'm all unorganized here. I'm all unorganized, but anyway, we're going to get through this video today. I'm tired. It's like that when you've been working. It's like that sometimes. So, Okay, so I'm blending it in. Okay. So you see that look, brought the light and still didn't cut it on. Now what's wrong with me? Well, sometime today. Give me a second, y'all. I don't know what's wrong with this. Okay. It's starting to get on my nerves. Okay, maybe it'll come on now. Okay, here we go. Finally, okay. Thanks, y'all, for waiting on me. I'm just, ugh, I hate this when it starts to, stuff start happening. So if you can see a little bit of where I did the highlight there, it's kind of light and see, see it? That's what you would do for the concealer. You will get that brush. Um, where is that concealer? The concealer usually comes in something like this. Um, this is LA Colors Pro Concealer. It has a brush. And what you do is you squeeze it. You can tell I ran out. But you squeeze it and you brush it up. You just you draw the line here. And then you begin to brush it out. So it'll highlight there, and it creates the highlighted look above the eyebrow, okay? So that's the first trick. Remember, I told you we get the brush, and we'll probably do this again with the lash um, with, uh, when we do the eyebrow. Um, you know, just trying to get the eyebrows together. Now, I always advise to... Whether you're wearing makeup or not, you need to be using this spoolie to train your eyebrows. 
all the time. Because it gives your eyebrows that natural stand up, you know, brushed look. Um, whether they have brow liner on them or not. And so now, now some people can do this with brown. You can do it with black, whatever color you like. I'm going to do mine with, with black because my natural lash is black. So I just take a, make a thin line over my lash. I start here and make a faded situation for my for my lash. I'm just coloring them in and I do it lightly. I start back here so it's darker here and lighter and they give it that gradient look. Okay. Okay. Okay, so you can get a black liner and lightly um, line your brows or color in, like they say, color in your brows. You get your spoolie again, and you're going to brush the eyeliner pencil or brow pencil. You're going to brush it in. You always start like an inch or something off of the brow because you want to give it that faded look because it's going to look light here, then it gets darker here, but it gives it that faded, you know, like as a natural way that a brow is supposed to look. So you do it again here. I got that natural, that light is light here, but I made it heavier starting right there. And you see how that goes. And sorry for the bumps on my face, y'all. This is like, it is really hot in North Carolina, so I think these are heat bumps. I, I exfoliated this morning. I exfoliated yesterday. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, that's what it is. Okay, so you just brush the brow pencil or the liner, brush it into the brow, okay? Okay. After you do that, you can go ahead on and add some highlighter on the bone of the eyebrow, like right here. Remember, I told y'all about that. You can do that as well. I'm going to do it for video. You don't have to do it. It's optional. Everybody don't like to do this, so don't. Um, don't. Don't really make a big a big fuss about it okay so we did we we did the face we did the um highlighter over the eyebrow we shaded in the eyebrows and then we're highlighting the brow the bone the arch now this is to show you how to amp up your makeup or you can walk around in full face like this it's up to you some people do. But this is really um Okay. So we're going we're going to color in the highlight on the brow bone. Just blend it in, blend, blend. Blend, don't blend the color away, just blend enough so you can see it, boom. And then, um, So the reason why we do the the, eye, the eyebrows is to the eyebrows we highlight on top, we color them in, and we highlight on the brow bone. That's to lift, give your eyes a lift. Okay, um, you want your your brow should be luscious, full, and natural. They shouldn't be really thin because they look cheap. Um, mine is like a 
yeah, I'm put. I got some thick ones, and, and plus thick brows are in now. Um, so when you do your eyes, it always gives you that eye lift. Um, even eyeliner and lashes, they are simple, but they give the eyes a lift. Um, Okay. Okay. Now what we're going to do, I'm not going to use, this is the highlighter brush, but I'm going to use another brush just to um, give, we're going um, to, we're going to put a hint of highlighter around the arch to open up the eyes further right around here but I'm looking for my brush oh. okay I want to use a different brush let's see maybe this will work I think this will be good right here, just to get it around the eyes. And always get you a highlighter. They got different kinds of highlighter. They got pink highlighters. Mostly everybody like gold. Um, go around here to uh, the eye to open the eyes up, and it, then like I told you, it get you know when the light hits it. See that? You you see that natural glow right there? When the light hits it, bam! It's it's gonna open your eyes up. Okay. You can put it around the eye right there, around the ball of the eye. When you turn the light or hit it, it opens up your eyes. Do you see that? You see that highlight? You see that glow there? Let me bring it closer. Do you see the glow here around the eyes? It opens the eyes up, okay? These are simple techniques that you can use to amp your makeup up, and it makes you look like a million bucks. I mean, you're looking like, you're looking like money. You can look like money if even if you don't have none. You don't, nobody has to know how much you have. You can always keep them guessing with your looks. See that? And I put it on extra um, thick so you guys can see it because I know this is video and I want you to see. But you see how that looks? I'm going to tone it down. But get it, you know, just do like a, a thing around, the, like, I'm sorry, like around here like that. Yeah like a half circle and then you're gonna bring it down you'll bring it down I'm gonna use this brush because I'm gonna use it anyway to finish doing the other one so I might as well finish it Okay, so and then let's do let's do, we're gonna do the highlighter on the cupid's bow. We're gonna do the highlighter going down the center of the nose. Remember, we told you the hot the highlighter goes down on the center of the nose, the ball of the nose, right here.
I look like Beyonce's gold member. <laughs> Now, I'm doing this without, I'm not putting on the other full makeup because I want you to see this without the full makeup. So, when you put it with your makeup, you're going to see the last videos that I did with the ocean water. I think the ocean water, blue ocean water tutorial um, and the pink one that I did. Like, you're going to see without the full makeup what this does, how it amps up the makeup and amps up your face. Um so this will take you from basic chick to, you know, celebrity, video vixen, model chick, whatever. Whatever you want. When you go to the club, when you have when you have these highlighters done right and in the right places, the way I have it. When you walk into the club and they flicking them lights, people going to see that light going to hit your face. And guys are gonna be like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? It's 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 the it's the lighting, the way it hits and how it makes you look. Um, when you're doing if it models, any models, I used to model in Atlanta. Any models, when you're doing modeling and you're doing photo shoots, the highlights are very important to the cameras if you want to get that look. Because if you don't, this is gonna look terrible so these are key things that you have to incorporate if you want to look rich on the budget along with your makeup and if you're doing it right you may not have to do number foundation and do a highlighter um okay so i'm doing an extra thick for video because i want to make sure you guys can see it really well so don't don't trip about how serious seriously bright it is because i'm doing it for video just so i can make sure that you get the effect and you see what's going on now i'm going to take this is going to give us the chisel the sculpted nose or the chisel look on the cheeks and the nose okay so now for the sculpted nose i don't know how many tips these are but they tips <sighs> And y'all, I am so tired. Okay. Okay, y'all, this is Pro Concealer Highlighter by um, LA Colors, and it is, it's called Mahogany, so I use this to um, do the sculpt. Um, so, to get the sculpted look, you have to use um, foundation that's a couple shades darker. And preferably with a brush because it'll make it easier to do the chisel look. Because um, doing it with another makeup brush is going to get on your nerves. But this one right here is very small to make the lines, to make that, that, that sculpted nose and that sculpted cheekbone. Okay. And, um... And so you can use a lighter shade. That's going to be your highlighter to draw another line down the center of your nose. Um, and then you just blend it. And I'm getting ready to do that. I know Makeup Forever has two sculpting. Um, it's, a, it's a kit that has two uh, compact powders to do the sculpting with. But I like to do it with this the, the, the brush on the the foundation too because it goes on well and so when you get ready to blend this in it's not going to be an issue and like i said sometimes you can blend this in with your hands and i think i'm gonna do my hands today let's see mm -mm -mm.
Okay. Y'all see that sculpted look? You see how I got the two lines where I went down the nose? Let me show you how I did it because I don't know if I was looking dead into the camera. But you do it like this. See that? You see the lines? Up. Uh, uh oh, wait a minute. Right here. You squeeze the tube and you do the sculpted line right down the center of the nose. Now you see how light I got it? So it gives it that sculpted look. Now I'm going to rub it in here and here. And then you still got the gold in the center, the highlighter. And on the cupid's bow. And you see, you see the you see the dark, the dark foundation for you know the brow bone underneath the gold. And then you see it here. Okay. That's for sculpting the brow bone, the jaw, uh, the cheekbone. You see the the high, the cheekbone sculpt. That little dark brown right there is is up under the, that I just put. It's up under the gold highlight, and that's that's the contour. Um, and I'm sorry, y'all. I'm tired. I really am. Okay, and then we're gonna put some more highlighter here. Go down the center. I'm going to put some on the ball of the nose on the cupid's bow. Okay. So I think I'm going to blend it in with a regular makeup brush. Um, and I think I'm gonna, you see how this looks guys? Now we just blending it in. Okay. See here. See you guys. So you can look like a million bucks. You see how natural this looks. Let me put my natural gloss on so you can see. Um, where is my? Oh, here you go. You can look like a million bucks. You put on. Excuse me, my lips are red because I had on pink lipstick. Man, they looking pinky. This is the, we doing a nude color, nudie goldie, it's got a hot gold highlights in it, so I'm going to do that since we doing, we we using highlight color, so they all gold and nudie looking, so um, we gonna, we, that's what we're going to do. This is LA Colors. Um, my favorite high shine lip lip gloss with shea butter and it's called wink this is la colors lip gloss it's got gold it's nude and it's got gold in it and it's called wink so i'm using it um with these colors it's their natural colors so this is appropriate and this is this is like that Kim Kardashian type look that a lot of y'all like, um, or the I call it the natural dewy look. It looks good. You can spray water or spray like a, a rose water or spray mist on your face. To, you know, this gives you that dewy look. It doesn't look ashy. You look like a million bucks. You, we're going to throw on some lashes. Let me finish blending in, then we're going to put the lashes on last. Ah, come on, don't do that. Okay. 
So let's blend. It's time to blend. Okay. Okay. And if you want to give it a pop of color, you always can if you got a, a pencil or something to do that with. Um, I do. I, I have pencils like that burgundy one I did, but I don't care about that today. I'm just trying to get through this video because I am really, I'm really tired. Let me see. Maybe I can use a little bit of this pink. Okay. Okay, that works. Okay. Okay. Okay, let me blot. I'm going to blot my lips. Here is the highlighter that I have that um is it's called Glowing Complexion. Um it's an illuminating cream. And it's pink. It's a highlight for radiant finish. And it um, instantly brightens and soothes the skin. So it gives you that, that highlight look. Everybody's wearing the highlight. I mean, you can buy wear that and put on a little bit of gloss and some highlight. And have your face clear and be wearing a natural nude color. And really kill the game. When, and that's that's what I call, you know, you can I can call it the, the natural beauty look. If you don't feel like doing a whole bunch of makeup, and this is what it's called. It's this is a pink highlighter. Let me show y'all how it comes out. It comes out like a cream, like some type of it's a um see that? Oops, wait a minute. See that? Oops. It's a cream, like a pink cream. Let me see if I can show y'all how it look on the skin. See? See that? And see what you do? You have to rub that in where it's not so bright. And it's got glitter in it. You can't, you may not be able to see it, but... It's a pink highlighter. See that glitzy on my on my knuckles? So if you want to have that look, I call it the, the video look, video vixen. You can definitely, um, or Hollywood when you, you know, lights, camera, action. This is how they put the makeup on when they want you to, for the cameras and all that kind of stuff. And I know because I did it for many years. Um... And it looks like I'm going to keep doing it. Okay. So let's do the um, eyebrow, the eye eyebrow, the eyelash trick. And I don't take that long. I just want to bring, pull them up. I swear my spoolie gets up and runs, honey. Oh, here it is. So I'm gonna take my spoolie and lift up my lashes. I don't do this all the time, but I should. I'm gonna get better. Okay. 
Now, I got to keep my spoolie stick because you know I use the back of this stick to apply the glue to my lashes. Y'all know how I do. Um, and I'm not the only one. I'm sure I'm one of many. Um, and as you feel comfortable with putting on lashes, you will find your groove. Everybody does. It's not nothing to be afraid of. Okay, so after you, you want to put, here I go with this video thing again. Okay, so we get the lash and we just put the glue on. And make a line on the inside. We're going to shake it because what we're trying to do is get it, um, we want it to dry a little bit and get like tacky kind of. Get tacky um, and it'll adhere and it'll stick like it should. Okay. Okay, I'm finna do the same thing to this lash. I put some glue there, and so I'm gonna let it dry a little bit, and I'm gonna apply this lash on. And And as I always say, lashes will definitely um, give you that, that amplified look. And let's see. Let's see if I can get that to stay right there. We could. Okay, let me hurry up because this video should have been shorter being that I didn't do a full makeup face. But like I said, talking and putting on makeup, I'm still trying to get that together because it's a lot. So, yes, I love this look. Um, but this is this is that, that dewy look that everybody can get without wearing a whole bunch of makeup and still look glammed out. 
you don't have to do a full beat face, but if you highlight and do the 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 um sculpted nose and the sculpted cheekbones, you look like a million bucks instantly. You highlighted the eyebrows, you shaded the eyebrows in, you highlighted above the eyebrow, you did the highlights on the nose, the cupid's bow. Here you got a little bit of gold lipstick. Really, you don't have to put on anything. You can just this is a this is a it can be an everyday glam. You can have a light everyday glam. If you go into the store and you just want to be cute, but you don't want to do the whole face, but you want to still have a natural look, and but you want it to be kind of amped up because your hair fixed, this is the one for you. If you don't like it, then you, this ain't for you. Mm. Okay. Oh, Lord. I always got to mess with stuff. I should have left it alone. Okay. That's me over the top right there. Okay. All right. So we got the face, we got the look. Um, let's see, do I wanna? Yes. Yeah, we got the look. So this is, um, and this and, and this is and this is another thing. This do we look? I gave y'all with these. With the sculpted nose, let me tell you something about this sculpted nose and the sculpted cheekbones. What I just did here was fake cosmetic surgery. You don't have to get all these injections. If you do these tricks, if you don't have money to get the injections, you can you can get away just off of the tricks that I did today. The eyebrows, we highlighted on top. We highlighted on the bone, the arch of the bone, the eye bone, eyebrow bone. Colored in the brows. You got lashes here. You can do liner if you like. Um, you you do the um, the chisel look on the on the nose. We did, and then we did the with the dark brown foundation. And with the dark brown foundation, we also did up under the highlight. And then I did the highlight to to open up the eye here. And then I brought it down. See how I brought it. I brought the highlight down. Wait a minute. Let me see if I can do that better. I brought the highlight from, it, you know, from this way, right there. So you got it. You got the eye. You put a little highlight around your eyes to open them up and then bring some more down on your cheekbone. And then you do the dark brown. Um, on the cheekbone, this gives you the chiseled or the sculpted look for the cheekbones and sculpted nose, or the you know the sculpted nose or the sculpted look for your nose. You put the gold down the center on the ball of the nose and on the cupid's bow, and here underneath the chin, and you got a natural glam look. And you can just rock this. This is cute. It's classy. It's light. You can wear this when you don't want to do a whole thing of foundation. And the sun is out. So if you got on highlight, it's going to beam off of your face. People are going to be looking like, oh, my God, who is she? Is she like a celebrity? I mean, or who is she? Because her makeup is banging. It's flawless. This is a flawless face. You just faked cosmetic surgery. And it amped you up. Just This is a natural look, and it looks amped up. It's amped up. It's an amped up natural look. And then you put it with your eye, your eyebrow colors and your cheek colors and your lipstick. And you are totally, um, your makeup is amped up. But if you want to skip some steps, this is a natural amped up glam look. You could even probably wear this to the gym and get looks and have on your little workout wig, honey. Bring it down a little bit and work out and you still looking beautiful but you still looking natural at the same time so 
If you want to look like a million bucks, you want to have the chiseled look on the cheeks and the sculpted nose or the sculpted cheeks, you got it. Put a little dark foundation under here. I put just a little bit right here. And honey, the glowing, glowing skin is very flawless. Um, so you don't, you, you know, you don't have to worry about no brown spots and um, fine lines and all this kind of stuff. Um, you get your, you know, do your teeth, you know, whiten your teeth. I use coconut oil. I do oil pulling, which is, is very, it helps your, um, it's good for your breath and it's good for your teeth. It makes your teeth white. Some people use peroxide. I use coconut oil. Just hold it in your mouth for 20 minutes and swish it around. It's called oil pulling. Y'all Google oil pulling and it'll tell you what it'll do for your teeth. You see that? Natural look. Okay. And when you do that natural look with, with your teeth, you got good teeth, your skin looking flawless. It's, it's, you know, it, this is, this is the look. I love it. Um, so yeah, this, and you can, and, and see what this look is. It gives you that youth apple cheese look and see the money that, um, you know, a lot of rich women, um, that get like age and sun damage and, you know, reversed by plastic surgery they spend a lot of money doing it like at a dermatologist's office and if you don't have that money and you want to look like they look this is the look i'm gonna turn to the side so y'all can see that highlight shimmer you see that highlight um shimmering on the, the apple of my cheek and around my eyes opening my eyes up Now, I was going to do the eyeliner thing. I'm not going to do it this time, but you know how I line the lash so you don't see. Um, the You don't see where the lash starts and ends. I'm not going to do that because y'all seen me do it before, but you know, I was going to add that and you can just keep going, you know, to the store or wherever you're going to go. Okay. But this is, um... You just fake cosmetic surgery, and you did it on the budget, okay? You did it on the dime, because rich women pay thousands of dollars to get that done at a dermatologist's office, or a regular doctor's office, or a plastic surgery, sur surgery, surgeon. <laughs> um, so if you want to score the same results, th this video is how you can score the same results, okay? So you've seen everything that I do, did here, and I thank you guys for watching this video. I love you, Trendsetter Gang. I have on no, nope, I don't have on no eye makeup. I know it looks like it, but I don't. You watch me put this on. Um, <clears throat> thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, do not forget to click that notification bell so you will know every time I upload a new video. I love you, Trendsetter Gang, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!